well, for one, we see, as I've just mentioned, that in the UK, quick service are the most significant increase in frequency overall. Um, and then if we're looking at the rest of the, of the segments, two in five reported visiting fast casual as well as full service less in the past month. And we can anticipate that a decrease in off-premise um, will happen. So um, when looking ahead, when we're looking at the survey respondents, only 20% plan on dining out more um, and one in three specifically state they plan to cut off off-premise um, occasions, mostly delivery. So that's in the UK. If we're now moving, for example, to Germany onto the continent, we see a similar picture. QSR has done the best in terms of the overall restaurant segments um, with lower declines and frequency actually going a little bit up based on the survey results. But again, also in Germany, um, one in three Germans that we surveyed plan on using off-premise less than they have done in the past. So there is a bit of a tendency to um, cut the unnecessary um, spending. Yeah. There, I know in the U.S., we in the past, we've done, um, you know, what, how price or what's causing price sensitivity. It, you mentioned delivery, Philip. Is some of that just the the surcharges on delivery? So some of that m might be driven by the surcharges in delivery, but when you're talking about sensitivity, I would take a step back and not only look at it from a delivery perspective. So let's just put ourselves in the shoes of the consumers. They see negative headline after negative headline. Even consumers that are very well off are suddenly finding themselves in a position where they feel they might, they, they need to safe in some way or another, some form or another. So it's a halo effect that is not only um, happening at the lower income bracket, where, as I mentioned, over here, there's a real cost of living crisis happening, pe families not knowing how to survive on current income levels. But that, that news and that negative sentiment that triggers right up to the top, um, where people don't struggle whether they eat or they eat, they might need to cut down on luxurious vacations or these sort of things. Um, but even there, um, consumers feel um, that they need to make savings or that they're going to cut off on some of the discretionary expenses. It's all psychological. Yeah. So delivery surcharges are the least of their worries, in other words. <laughs> Well, that's one of the, that's one of these, these luxurious expenditures that you might say, okay, I'm getting away with, right? So, so maybe, right? Um, um, you're just saying, okay, let's not order in. Let's, right? Let, let's have the supermarket pizza as mentioned earlier on, or let's just go and pick it up, or let's make a proper occasion out of it and actually eat at the restaurant and have, you know, celebrate the moment. Sure. If we're going to splurge, let's splurge. <laughs> yeah, Correct. that makes sense. The interesting thing is that the situation is quite different in Tokyo. Most respondents stuck to their habits across segments. And as I mentioned before, the fast food saw the greatest increase in frequency, while um, two in five reported visiting full service less in the past month. So it's, I think the Japan is a little bit behind on what's happening right now. I don't know how long, I mean, how it's going to change in the uh, you know, near future. But for at this moment, at least uh, for now, what I'm seeing is a little bit different than um, Tokyo is a little bit different than other countries.